Okay, you guys, welcome to Prophecy. Thank you for watching my channel. This is your um, reading for January of 2021 for Libra, your psychic tarot reading. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. And if you are already subscribed, um, <clears throat> this is going to be a new layout for the reading for the month. I've been instructed by Spirit to structure my readings more. So I am going to adhere to um, a tried and true tarot card layout known as the mini cross. <laughs> it's not particularly my style. Um, I'm generally kind of a free form reader, but I am doing this because they want me to. And I'm, I'm trying to be a good girl and follow the advice of my, uh, galactic elders. So <laughs> here we go. All right, we have a new deck to use. This is the Wild Unknown. Um, I'm super excited about it. I think it's very beautiful. It's by, um, can't even read, Kim Krenz. Anyway, it's a really great winter deck um, and I think it's gorgeous. So I will be um, using this deck for the next few readings, probably next um, couple of months for the monthly stuff anyway. So, I'm very excited about that. Um, I am going to channel um, a reading, um, a message for you from Spirit for this read, and then we'll lay the cross out. We'll go over the cards and the cross. If you would like to get into clarify, clarification and oracle cards, those can be found in the extended reading. So you can scroll down to the link below, click on the link, and it will take you to Vimeo where you can purchase the extended read for $9.99, okay? So, Virgo. The latest news upsets you, and it's not the first time you've heard it. It's happened before, and you thought maybe it would be different this time, but it has not panned out yet again. Its transparency was denied to you. It's lessons glaring. <clears throat> you are found a little lonelier wandering the earth in a slightly confused manner, but still determined to make up for lost time. But you must prepare yourself for the state of things. There is a, a foundation uh, a set of boundaries or a set of rules that you must adhere to. There is a status quo that cannot be altered and that cannot be recreated. And so you must be flexible and face other things to avoid the frustration and disappointment in what is to be. Well, okay, so Virgo, um, let's get to your cross. That was an interesting message. Something, something comes to light for you in January or you encounter a system 
a system. A system that cannot be rearranged or recreated or um, circumnavigated. Something is the status quo. I'm not even sure if that's the right even phrase. I hope it is. Um, it's like the thing that is or what is the situation um, is what it is. And there will be things expected of you. Let's see what comes out in your, in your cross. So Virgo, the... We start out January, the energy of the month. Interesting. Um, so I'm looking to see if I, oh, be damned. I shuffled the deck and there's some reversals. <laughs> well, here we go. You're stuck. <laughs> it's the chariot. I'm going to show you the card. Um, beautiful, right? So it's the chariot and it was it came out in the reverse you have a reverse card in the center of your deck so there is an element of not being able to move forward so you'll win eventually virgo but for now the delays exist it's not easy you know to have to circle the wagons mid journey and accept that you want to be um on the road or traveling or on the move but sometimes waiting or not moving forward is sometimes a blessing. And there's a right moment, Virgo. So it's difficult to take a leap, right? With the fool. It's difficult to carry on on one's own and take risks. It takes strength. It takes fortitude. And this is your challenge for January. You'll be challenged with a new beginning or carrying on your, on your, on your own or taking a step into something that you're not used to and you're going to need to be under control and show courage. You're going to need to pack lightly. So there is an opportunity for you and we have the mother of wands it's in the reverse so this is what the card looks like right side up and it's in the reverse here, the Mother of Wands. This person may not necessarily be... <laughs> this is so funny. If there's something that you want to be doing in, in the month of um, January, like being a mother or taking care of people or nurturing people, you may have the opportunity to not do that for a while. 
And if it's not you, it's somebody else. Because this is typically a person, right? A queen, possible fire sign female. Maybe someone want, doesn't want to be that nurturing, caring person who gets everything done on time, who um, <clears throat> makes life comfortable for others. Who steps up and gets things to like, you know, a real go getter. But when the when the mother of wands is in reverse, it's you could have this could this person could be letting go of the need for a more forceful approach. So if this is you, it's about not striking out on your own right now. And if it's somebody else, maybe they're not doing that. They may not be showing courage. They may not be I'm going to say this. I think your opportunities lie in in this person's inability to be courageous. So as weird as that sounds or as as not right as that sounds. It somehow works in your favor. You Are moving on six of swords you are tendering your resignation um, using the energy to move yourself forward out of some lessons learned into a far more favorable place see that rainbow at the top of the card you're traveling forward, albeit into uncharted waters here with the fool. It's a risk. But you've decided that you're ready with the Six of Swords. So the energy of the month on the whole with the chariot in the reverse is, of course, of delays. But it doesn't mean that mentally... You can't move. I mean, you are. You are moving. It's your prerogative. It's your choice. And you're making the mental adjustments that are necessary, regardless of your static position. So the outcome for January... Again, is a black and white card. It's the justice card and it's in the reverse. So it's just a little bit of I feel like I feel like there's a for some of you there's like a relationship that's kind of at odds here. It's a relationship that's like either causing delays or delays in coming together. I'm not quite sure. But the justice card in the reverse is like a little bit of negative karma, right? Like something something doesn't work out in your favor. It has to do with travel or forward movement. You're making the adjustment mentally instead. 
And I feel like if you could just take advantage of the opportunity, maybe not to get angry. <laughs> or the opportunity to not or to capitalize on someone else's shortcomings, namely a fire sign. you would be able to adjust to whatever <clears throat> decision this is that doesn't go your way. I feel like a decision might not go your way, unfortunately. Not the greatest reading, but not the worst reading. So if you'd like to see the extended where I'm gonna blow this up, we'll get some advice, we'll get Oracle cards for from Spirit for you, and we're gonna tackle this challenge over here, which is stepping into the unknown on your own. Okay. All right. So please join me. I'll see you then. Bye.